Hello guys and welcome to the show. I'm Brandon here, as you all know, from Hemi Cruising. And today, this video is going to be a little different. Uh, I'm going to sit here and talk to you guys directly into the camera, which like rarely happens. So if you want to go on ahead and open up a new tab and just listen to the audio, go right ahead. Because there's not going to be like anything in here other than just my face talking. Um, so I guess I need to catch you guys all up on what's been going on. Uh, with my life, the channel, uh, what's going to happen going forward, why the scenery all around me is different. Uh, there's a lot of stuff we need to address. So, <laughs> we're going to start with the most obvious. Um, there's Poncho right there. We're going to start with the most obvious, which is the whole scenery change. What happened? Uh, so, as you know, probably one of the last videos I did um, that I uploaded before I kind of took a break was uh, I was living in a little town called Taylorsville, Mississippi at that time, and I was still in high school. Well, May rolled around, and I graduated high school. Well, what do you do after you graduate high school? Well, you can do a lot of things. You can do like a lot of people from my hometown like to do, which is live with their parents until they're 25, uh, break girls' hearts, all that fun stuff, which I, I did not have any appeal in doing. Or you can do like I did, and you can move out two weeks after you graduate, uh, 50 miles away from your parents, and basically start life all over, which is what I did. Uh, me and Thomas and his girlfriend, we all moved down here to Hattiesburg, uh, the lovely town that contains the University of Southern Mississippi. That is where we will all three be going to college at. Um, I'm going to get my degree in uh, information technology. Ba um, hopefully when I come out of USM, I will have a bachelor's of science in information technology. That's what the goal is. But. Uh, yeah, late May, I think it was like May 31st, I moved out, moved out of Taylorsville, moved to Hattiesburg, and basically started life all over. I came down here with my computer, the stuff that was in my room, my car, and that's it. Um, Thomas brought all of his stuff. We got an apartment, and we basically had to start completely over. We had to go buy furniture. This couch we're sit I'm sitting on right now, Thomas bought it. Danny painted the painting on the wall back there behind me. That's Thomas's girlfriend. The TV that's in front of me, Thomas bought that. We had to basically start all over. We had to get jobs. I'm still trying to find a freaking job because it doesn't seem that anybody really wants to hire down here. Uh, in a city of roughly 45, 50,000 people, they're, they're not hiring anybody, at least not for decent wages that you could do something with. Uh, but yeah, we had, we had to start over, and that's kind of a life-changing event, you know? Um, so during that whole process, I wasn't really making videos. I didn't really have anything to make videos about. I still don't really have anything to make videos about. I'm not making enough money yet to mod the charger like I wanted it to. I've done a few little things here and there, and certainly the list of things that I want to do has gotten much longer, but uh, I really haven't had any money to do all that. There is one thing that I've done since you have last seen the car that uh, I'll go show you in just a few minutes at the end of the video, I'll go show that off. But other than that, the car has remained pretty much the same since I made the uh, the first video where I put the 345 badges on the fenders. Um, I got involved with head turners, as you all know. Uh, I had to take over running a sub-chapter of head turners, the Pine Belt head turners. That's who I'm always talking about in the car show videos that I've been doing, because really car shows are the only thing I've had to make content about recently. Um, I got involved with a car, a car club down here in Hattiesburg. They're not head turners there, but we all get along. The Alliance, you may know, uh, if you watched the previous video um, of the car show in Columbia, Mr. Jim Tim, he is president over the Alliance, the Mississippi chapter of the Alliance. And uh, I hook up with them every Saturday night at Hobby Lobby, and we go out and have races and shenanigans and all that kind of stuff. You know, typical car club stuff. But, uh, Overall, life's just been kind of hectic. 
and chill. If I'm not arguing with someone over something, I'm sitting here at home waiting for a job to call me back and say, hey, come work for us and make some money. Uh, so that's kind of like, that's kind of, bring, that brings you up to date now. Uh, future plans for the channel, I, I would love to take this channel to great places. I would love to have 20,000 subscribers where I could have multiple cars and mod them all out and, you know, do all that sort of thing like uh, uh, Chris Fix does or RP Productions, but right now that's just not going to happen. So. We have the charger. I'm not abandoning the channel. I'm just saying that content will probably be, I'm gonna tell you right now, content will not be as frequent as I would like it to be just because uh, I have to start life over and I have to get a source of income to pay for mods to the car and I can't make videos unless I have mods to do or car shows but uh I, I love you guys I thank you all for sticking around the 24 subscribers that I have I thank you all for sticking around through this whole process I know I've kind of left everybody out of the dark if you follow me on social media you you're kind of somewhat in the light you're not you're not like Thomas is where he's been involved with this whole process but uh if you follow me on social media, you've been somewhat involved in the process. You know what's been going on. But for the rest of you, uh, I'm sorry for leaving you guys in the dark, but it's been chaotic for both me and Thomas trying to get down here and get started. And so that brings me to, uh, you know, talking about the future of the channel. Uh, you'll see Thomas definitely a lot more. You're going to see him uh, probably in every other video or every video just about it now that he lives with me and we both mod our cars and all that so you'll see a lot of his car modding journey go along with mine and you'll see kind of how we have different tastes and what we want to do with our chargers and you'll you'll see that all unfold so hopefully you'll get a kick out of that in the future um, I can't promise anything on how well videos are gonna be after I start school I start school next month in August um, I have no clue if it's going to be hectic all the time or what, but we're going to try our best guys. I just encourage, I encourage you all to stick with me through this process and, uh, just bear with me as I try to get reestablished. But, uh, that being said, that's about all I have to talk about right now as far as updates. I do want to go show you the one cool little mod that I've done to the charger that uh not everybody has but i think that if you are in a car club especially and you roll with a bunch of guys uh guys and gals because there's some of you out there there's some uh some of you gals out there who are watching i know but uh if you roll in a car club there i think this is something that every one of or every person that's in a car club should have so let's go take a look at that and uh talk about it all right guys i know it's kind of dark outside here but uh i just want to go over this mod real quick you'll notice there's a let me get in the light here there's a little antenna on my trunk lid so the mod is a compact mobile radio and uh I've got it wired up here in the car so that it links in. Um, it's on the same circuit as my heated and cooled cup holders. So it only comes on when the car's on. But with this radio, I don't know if it's gonna focus on that. So basically with this little microphone here, um, you can activate it and talk to other people. Now the reason I put this in here is because in the past we were using these Cobra Microtalk uh, handheld radios. You can pick these up at Walmart for about 50 bucks for a pair of two. And they're great, don't get me wrong. Uh, they've got everything there uh, from high and low band frequencies, FRS and GMRS. They have weather channels. These things are just not that great for long range communication. The range on these handhelds suck. 
they're about that you you get more than three or four car lengths ahead of the other car that's got these and they are pretty much ineffective this on the other hand puts out almost up to two miles uh, thanks to its antenna back there on the back and the sound quality is not bad either I'm gonna throw this this radio over here uh, in the floorboard and where it doesn't interfere testing testing one two three testing testing one two three check check mic check testing so you can see they sound pretty damn good uh, this one here is the, it's basically the same thing as that radio over there this one is manufactured by Midland it's got the same weather channels on it and everything uh, let me you have to hold it there you go. It's got the same weather channels as uh, all the other ones. It's got an auto squelch function on it. It's got uh, different brightness levels for the display. You can rotate the display. It mounts with this convenient mount. I've got it screwed into the side of the console here just because it's most convenient. My leg is not in the way of hitting it and it's easy access when I'm driving. I can just grab the mic and have the mic sitting here on my leg and uh, talk when I need to and then put it back down here so it was a fairly easy mod to do um, it gave me an excuse to do some future proofing for mods down the road because uh, I ran the antenna wire and the power wire in the console it goes underneath the driver's seat to this side of the car and then down the uh, down the underneath the carpet by the doors all the way to the trunk to the fuse box so i have a total of six circuits that i ran at one time up here underneath the driver's seat for future mods um stuff like a radar detector that'll go up there underglows for the outside of the car underglows for underneath the dash in red um stuff like that I have gone ahead and I have circuits for that now under the seat um, I didn't make a video about this in its entirety just because I didn't feel like it was worth its own video it took like an hour to install and make the wiring harness um, it's literally three screws that hold this in here but uh, I just wanted to show that off because I like I said, if you were in a car club or you roll with a bunch of car guys, every one of everybody in your crew should have one of these because these things are a lifesaver. It's so much simpler than trying to text while driving. It's a lot much safer. You can just sit here and drive and have your microphone, uh, your microphone down here in your lap, and whenever you need to talk, you just press it. Hey, anybody out there? Come back. Anybody out there? Come back. And uh. It, they just work it's great you don't have to worry about phone dying because as long as the car's on this thing's gonna be on you don't have to worry about the batteries dying like in those things over there on the floor you don't have to worry about any of that it they just they're always on the range on them is 20 times better than those pieces of junk over there and they're just awesome so i just wanted to show that off guys uh just wanted to show that off show off that little mod give you an update on what's going on in my life and how things are going uh like i said i don't know when videos are going to come out it's kind of hit and miss but i'm not giving up on the channel i will try my best to pump com pump content out for you and i hope you all enjoy it i thank you all for being with me through all this i hope you stick around uh Hit the subscribe button to get notified whenever I upload more content. Uh, drop your comments down below. Give us feedback. Let us know what you want us to do different. And, uh, yeah, I got to go inside and get started on dinner. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.